Libby, the developer. I am a professional software engineer who is here to help teach you guys how to code in the easiest, most simple way possible. I remember when I was in at my coding bootcamp, I went to the Flatiron Coding Bootcamp. I literally became a software engineer, zero to software engineer in three months. And I remember speaking or just being in class. And, you know, every time I would talk to another developer or even to my instructors, honestly, the way they would explain things, it would just go completely and totally over my head. So I am here today to teach you guys how to code in the, I'm telling you, keep it funky, real, easiest way with the easiest examples. Like, I make it super duper easy. So if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to my channel. But I am here today to talk about how to ace any single coding challenge or interview prep, whatever that you may run across. I, um, and the reason why I'm the best candidate to tell you guys about how to ace a coding challenge is because I had quite a few in my coding boot camp, boot camp, boot camp. <laughs> I actually failed two of my coding challenges. I came through around on the second one each time, but I learned how to literally master, um, uh, uh, I literally learned how to master passing these coding challenges because the pressure that was on you to actually pass because you only get two tries. After the second try, you get kicked out of that particular cohort. So I was able to build out a algorithm, if you will, for success, for success. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about um, a little bit about self care and health just for a quick second. So as a software engineer, I sit here at my desk all of the time. I work from home. I'm literally just on my computer all of the time. And I noticed, especially during this quarantine, how I gained weight. And obviously no one loves to gain weight. And, you know, I'm approaching 30 and I, um, I'm, I need to feel my best. <laughs> um, I want to be a hot mom. <laughs> it's just the truth. And so here, what I've been drinking lately is the Skinny Tea from Teamy Blends, which has really helped me out with my health, having me to feel better, and just feeling overall in a, a very general sense, just better about myself um, and about the actions that I'm taking in order to remain healthy in the, in the best state possible. Um, so what's really cool about Timmy, Timmy Blends is that their tea is completely natural and I absolutely love loose leaf tea. Um, but the coolest part, is that actually you don't have to strain your tea in a completely different cup with this you actually the strainer is inside of the cup so what i do is i boil my hot water and i pour it into um this um canister here that has the loose leaf tea and then i just literally drink from it i actually put manuka honey on the inside just because you know having a strong immune system right now is so important but here's the even better part. If you unpack this, you can see all of my vitamins that I have to take for the day. Yes, I am a big ass kid and all of my vitamins are gummies. I have my hormone balance, I have my gut health, I have my apple cider vinegar, and I have my multivitamin. So every day I know that for my health, I am drinking my Teamy Blends Skinny Tea inside of my really awesome custom um, or really awesome tumbler. And also I am remembering to eat my vitamins every single day. This has really, really helped me out. Um, especially like I said, all I do is just sit at my desk all day in code. So I have some really good news for you guys. I do have a coupon code. You can get 20% off if you click the link and, um, in the uh, description box and use my code Livy20. You guys too can also start your health journey. We're almost to the end of this year, so it's now time to hit those goals that you set for 2020. No more excuses. Um, it's time to get going on those goals. So let's get into the nitty gritty of it all. How to pass a coding challenge. Here we go, I have some notes. First piece of advice that I have, before you take, or when you're in the process of actually studying for your coding challenge, 
please do not mitigate the power of other YouTube videos. This is why I am teaching now on my YouTube channel how to code. Um, if you have a specific issue that you're working through, you know, whether it's how to build like a React component or how to build out different functions, how to build out a backend in Ruby, whatever that is, literally go onto YouTube and watch other people do it. When I was in school, I got to a certain point where literally for fun, I was watching people code. You know how you guys are on YouTube all of the time and you're just watching your fun little videos? When you're actually in the program and you're trying to succeed in the program, you no longer have time for that. At this point, you need to literally, for fun, watch people how to watch how other people code. So if you're having if you're having a hard time figuring out how to put a button on a page or how to build out an event listener or a function or anything like that, literally just put it into YouTube and watch someone do it step by step and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to going to be doing a whole lot more of those. Um, and as you watch them do it step by step, you will actually be able to pick up that information and retain it better because you can stop, you can slow it down, you can pause it um, as opposed to listening to an instructor and you can't pause you, you know you can't ask a million questions and another really big part is that when you're watching other people code code along with that person because it's one thing to actually watch someone code and you're like oh yeah I've got it as opposed to actually doing it yourself don't just watch it actually type it out in order for your brain to be able to retain that information you're going to need to literally type it out um, and run it and make sure it's working for you just as it's working for them so YouTube 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 I'm telling you guys I still go on YouTube today as a professional software engineer in order to figure out certain things number two so you guys know i am into all the funky weirdy weirdy weird things in life um i'm into self-care and i'm into meditations and all of that i'm telling you guys please do not underestimate the power of listening to a certain level of hertz um, on youtube or spotify let me tell you what that means there is a universal sound that helps you really tap into super intelligence this may sound funky to a lot of you guys but it's the real deal. Go in on YouTube or Spotify and type in like, um, become the best programmer HZ or Hertz. Um, and you'll find different YouTube videos where they have subliminal messages that are being placed into your mind that essentially are affirmations. I am the best programmer in the world and you know, all these different things, essentially building up your confidence because it's all about confidence. So honestly, before I would walk into any coding challenge, I would listen to those as I'm coding even today. To this day, I listen to those videos and listen to those affirmations to help build my confidence and to help program into my mind that, because our brains are just one large computer, so program um, into my mind that I am an amazing programmer. That really, really helps. Or even like manifest luck. You know, if you guys want me to do a playlist video where I show you literally how you can brain hack your mind in order to become the best version of whatever you want to be, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to do that. One thing I will say is I will give a disclaimer and I will say, make sure you check the comments of those videos because you want to make sure that those affirmations aren't bad affirmations because a lot of times they're so low to where you can't hear them. So for my people that are into like metaphysical things, that's one thing for you. Also, Code Academy. Guys, I have a little secret. I did not like Learn Co at all. I would actually, if I didn't understand something on the Learn Co website, I would actually go to Code Academy and I would learn it on Code Academy in order to reinforce those concepts, which CodeAcademy.com is really cool because they actually allow you to take many challenges as you learn many concepts so as you learn a variable you're going to be tested on that variable um i use code academy all the time in order to get through my boot camp um next thing is i have some fun news for you guys i was actually able to find my folder of notes from the boot camp guys this is a legendary so my next piece of advice that I have is to print out actual solutions. 
and highlight them. Um, print out actual solutions and then highlight them to see how they are working. And I am going to give you an example of exactly what I mean. This is a literal example from when I was in a coding boot camp. Literally, I would print out the solution. I don't know anyone else who did this. So this is like a very unique thing. I would print out the solution and you can see here how I color coded. This was purple, this was green. Um, you know, I have sections that are like orange or whatever. And I would put on the back what each of those did. So if this section purple, um, you can see here, get image data by requesting from server. So I know every single part that's in purple, that's what that did. And so what that did for me was to actually make sense of all of this code, right? Have it to make sense in a way of a like, I understand what each piece is doing. So breaking the code down one by one, because this can be a very, um, this can seem very aggressive and it can seem to be a lot and be very confusing. But when you break it down piece by piece and you actually color code, you can see here what orange meant, what red meant, what green meant, <clears throat> and the explanation of those, it makes it a whole lot easier, easier to pick up those concepts. That's a big thing. Also guys, I would literally handwrite my code. It's something about handwriting that again, it helps you to retain that information even more. Typing is great, but when you handwrite, like y'all look, when I say I hand wrote, I hand wrote literally code. And that's how I would, um, that would help me to retain different pieces of information. But you can see here, I mean, I literally, y'all don't understand. I took notes upon notes upon notes upon notes. So when I say this boot camp was the hardest thing I've done in my life, I really feel like some of y'all think that I'm lying because y'all come back to me. You're like, this is so hard. And I'm like, girl, did I not tell you? Boy, did I not tell you? I spent my life coding. People are like, people are like, what was your schedule like when you were in boot camp? Code. All I did was code, 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 code. I'm telling y'all, this this stuff is not, it's no joke. Um, and then the last piece of advice that I have for you guys is to actually pseudocode. If you want me to do a video on how to pseudocode, I'd be more than happy to do so. But essentially what that means is if you have to do a thing, create a button, create a function or whatever, you want to write out Literally, you don't have to write out the actual code, but write down piece by piece what you're trying to do. So if you are trying to um, put an image on a page, you would, number one, grab the image. Number two, um, create a variable with that image. Number three, attach it to the DOM. You know, number four, return that element. Write it down piece by piece in your IDE and then break it out that way and then build out the code for each one of those things. So y'all, that is, those are my tips. If you combine all of these things together, you will ace every single code challenge and you won't have to fail one in order to become great at it. Trust me. Um, so definitely, guys, I have some really fun things coming for y'all. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, let's get the discussion going. And thank you so much for being a part of my family. Okay, bye.